Now that you've planned what you want to do, it's time to think about the practical tasks. Very importantly, you should act early and give yourself plenty of time to get everything booked and organised. You should think about the venue where you will hold your event or your service. Whether you need speakers, like a counsellor or someone from another group like yours. Whether you need people to help facilitate or help lead discussions if you're running any. Are you having entertainment like a band, dancers or a DJ? If you're going to feed people, who will cook? Are there kitchen regulations that means the cook has to have some food hygiene training? Or should you order food in? If you need interpreters, what languages do you need and who will pay for them? If children are coming, do you need a, a creche? And is the building registered to have one? How many kids will need to use it and who will provide it? You might need a projector and screen or a sound system and you have to organise this in advance. And you may need materials or other equipment such as supplies for an art workshop or laptops for a computer class. So you'll need to think who will you need to help deliver the event or the service in terms of staff, committee members or volunteers. You'll have to ensure that you confirm the details of the event with them and check that they're available well in advance. And consider what their role will be at the event and brief them about this. We'll cover this in more detail in the next section. Bookings. You need to think, do you need or want people to book for your event or can they just turn up? Booking in advance can be useful if you have a small number of places or if you need to know who's coming in advance for reasons like catering or childcare but it may not always work and you may not think it's necessary. If you do want people to book, you need to tell them this on your publicity and give them clear information on how to do it. It's important to think about how you're going to tell people about your event or your service and to consider what methods will be most effective in reaching the people that you need to reach. Is it word of mouth, posters, emails, social media, WhatsApp, phone contact or text? Remember to be clear about what the event is, who it is for, the date and the time, whether they have to book in advance, contact details for anyone who might have questions.